In this Tech Talk, I am speaking with Tony Maniscalco, National Sales Manager for SideDrive Conveyors, and we are discussing the ways that automation can help improve productivity and sanitation for manual tray handling. Hi, Tony. How are you? Great, Tony. Thanks for the invitation. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I'm really excited to talk about this. So I want to just dive right in because this is a really important topic. Um, and I just want to first ask you, what are the signs that a bakery is ready to automate their tray and rack system? What should they be looking out for? Right. Yeah, this is an interesting topic in the industry and a lot of uh, customers are coming to us for it. Um, there are a variety of reasons to automate, but the most common include increased product demand, a need to uh, increase throughput, uh, lack of available labor for the bakery, yeah. need to improve the quality and consistency of the product and, you know, optimize space and improve ergonomics and safe conditions. They're like some of the key points that they're looking for. Um, you know, there's a couple examples that, you know, the traditional tray and rack system introduce many variables into the process that could influence productivity and quality. Many bakeries are going through a phase of growth and it requires optimizing the process to keep up with the growing demand. Transferring baking trays to racks and moving them around, <laughs> a bakery is inefficient and it depends on resources that they could either forget, get busy, or make a mistake. So, you know, passive automated process would improve the operations to ensure, you know, product sits, rises, cools, and cures perfectly every time. You know, it is amazing how just a bakery operation, it's evolved. This industry has really evolved. So when you look at all of these factors and things to look out for, once a baker determines that they're ready to move into automation, how do you get that system automated? Like basically what's the first step? You know, bringing automation with passive processes to the bakery floors, it's a great way to increase your efficiency. First, we would review the current process and application, as anybody would. And that's to determine the best design we can offer with our equipment, the side drive conveyor spiral. The flexibility of a spiral design can fit into your existing infrastructure and so can support all of the critical proofing, curing, and dwell time tasks according to recipes. Our conveyors are configurable and ideal for baking processes that require handling while going up and over and down or in or out of bakery equipment. We also have power transfers for smooth transition, handling products on and off of the spiral, and even a transferless conveyor for small cookies and pretzels and things of that nature that could be considered with this design, and it would eliminate any transfer points from going from one machine to the next. What are the different configurations for spiral conveyors that can help with this manual tray process? Yeah. Another good question. There are two that come to mind and possibly a third, depending on the situation. Um, we could configure the side drive conveyor into what's called a, a P loop. And essentially that would allow product, whether in a tray or in contact with the belt, to be elevated up and down in the same sanitary structure. The second one would be there's an alpine arrangement, basically an elongated spiral uh, to support any type of extended process and time requirements. Both could be used for cooling, curing, and proofing uh, processes. A third rather unique is what we have is a transfer of the conveyor that can extend from one machine to another without any transfer points, especially important when product loss is an issue. As our conveyors are modular, in design, um, you can match different solutions with your existing bakery processing equipment. You know, we can help elevate lower rate to any level for a smooth uh, transition, entries into ovens, freezers, or any other downstream processing station that's required. That modularity really just sort of creates unlimited options, really. Absolutely. That's it gives us, incredible. It's just the flexibility, right? Yeah. Yep. And that's what, what bakeries need right now more than anything is flexibility. Absolutely. So there's something else that we can't have a conversation about conveyor systems without talking about it. And that's sanitation. Mm. So 
in a bakery operation, product changeover, and more specifically cross-contamination are a huge concern. So how do your systems create a hygienic environment? There's always a risk of contamination with bacteria when handling product from one tray process to another. Cross-contamination could also occur during changeovers from one product to another. In that case, you would want a system that's cleanable to the highest sanitation level possible. As mentioned, our side drive design, you know, it's able to handle trays and or direct contact, as mentioned before. It's the most sanitary on the market and our standards that have the least amount of surface area, uses all food grade materials with the least harborage areas and allows the most effective cleaning with its open frame construction and drumless design. You know, another important thing is with all of this, allergens could also be removed easily from one product run to another. Ultimately, this guarantees to market the most hygienic spiral system. So there's one other thing that is always, always a topic when we're talking about this, and that is maintenance. So what are some of the biggest benefits to plastic belting for spiral conveyors when we're talking about maintenance? Yeah, another good question. Uh, it, it is always a challenge. Um, the most common issues with metal belting are product loss by getting trapped in the grid, contamination with black specks or metal shavings that ultimately result in rejected products. In addition, there's always high maintenance with lubrication and repairs to the bearings and all the associated downtime that goes with the work. These all affect the productivity. So on the side drive spiral, the benefits of plastic belting are they're designed for high pressure cleaning, made of food grade materials, easily maintained and simple to repair if needed. The wear surfaces are made of UHMW and locked into position with no hardware, easily clean. And our drive system is designed so that there's friction and tension are reduced and there's no lubrication systems. So essentially you have a lower total cost of ownership by saving on labor to clean maintenance and the material usage. This has been a lot to take in in a short amount of time. Like there are a lot of benefits to yes. automating this part of the bakery. So there's just one question left, Tony, and that is how can a bakery get started? <laughs> sure. Um, to learn more, we are on the internet as many others are and LinkedIn, Twitter, now X. Uh, you can reach us at www.sidrive.com. Or you can call us at 215-721-1900. We'll be more than happy to help you out. All right. Well, Tony, this was really interesting. It's always so nice to talk to you. Thanks so much for taking time to walk me through the benefits of automating a manual tray handling process. Great. Thank you, Joni. Appreciate it again.